It's just different. Propagation through the axon. All or nothing, it don't last long. Sodium and then potassium out in the globular proteins go back on. Propagation through the axon. All or nothing, it don't last long. Sodium and then potassium out in the globular proteins go back on. Started with something essential. Talking about memory potential 70 millivolt difference between the inside and the outside is special Sodium, potassium, bumpers maintaining a pressure to move comes from the concentrations and charges across the membrane So we say the conductance results from the electrochemical gradients making the ions wanna flow Thus we have memory potential An action potential can only occur if the charge of the memory hits threshold Negative 55 millivolts Anything lower and then it won't trigger an impulse Which it always does reliably Signals can't be any lower or higher Because if the stimulus has high intensity Neurons just increase the rate of the firing Size remain constant Now it's time to talk about sodium channels Other voltage gated variety Woo! Gated by voltage Enables the ions to flow And it can be closed It can be open It can be blocked by the globular protein Inactivated is the name we gave it For the state that's illustrated Just remember that this ain't the same as closing This ain't the same as closing <laughs> Hey. Propagation through the axon All or nothing, it don't last long Sodium and then potassium out in the globular proteins go back on Remember this graph is a stencil It's not exactly the same for each impulse They just resemble it Not the incremental conduction We talking about action potentials Propagation through the axon All or nothing, it don't last long Sodium and then potassium out in the globular proteins go back on once it hits threshold, there ain't nothing stopping it Sodium channels open and the sodium ions start dropping in Charge of the memory goes positive, now at the overshoot opposite thing happens Posi to negi, it swings backwards Pump like a camo, you cannot miss it Cause we changing the channels like television Now the sodium channels inactivating While potassium channels facilitating the diffusion of cations They escaping out the cell, all this taking place within a couple of milliseconds While the AP is propagating cause the rising phase made the adjacent regions of the memory depolarize Which is stimulating all the adjacent voltage gated sodium channels That's propagation Sodium and the potassium out I thought we were finished, what's happening now? Memory potential dips down below normal The memory has now hyperpolarized Call it the undershoot, slowly is going to climb back to negative 70 over time And you just have to be curious Gotta talk about refractory periods Split it into absolute is the serious one No matter the stimulus, can't get another action potential Cause inactivation blocks all of the fun That's absolute period, it's different for relative Cause for a stimulus to go elicit additional action potentials It needs to be great in intensity Here the neuron has a lower propensity to have another right P But it's not impossible, just an obstacle <laughs> Yeah. Propagation through the axon All or nothing, it don't last long Sodium and then potassium out in the globular proteins go back on Remember this graph is a stencil It's not exactly the same for each impulse They use resembling on the incremental conduction We talking about action potentials Propagation through the axon All or nothing, it don't last long Sodium and then potassium out in the globular proteins go back on